Happy Monday. Are you ready to shake things up a bit? As always, there's always something kind of a bit thought provoking that I love to kick off your week with. So this time, the minute you push play and you're listening to this, I want you to take it to heart and get ready to put into play because I'm doing it myself. When is the last time you've had a brain break? Yep, a brain break. A total brain break. Did you know that there's a lot of science and a lot of research that's been done over the years and decades, but it's even more prevalent today how important it is for us to give our brain a break. There's so many great authors doing a lot of work around this, the neuroscience of the brain. I could give you all kinds of great books and resources, but what I've come to understand, what came so naturally and actually, most of us, it's that old saying, it's really common sense. It's just not common practice. So many of us know instinctively when our brain is in total overload. You know what I'm talking about. It's that we call ourselves the adult, uh, I always say I'm an adult undiagnosed ADD. I truly feel like that. We get to going and moving and we're like on a hamster wheel in our brain and in our life and next thing you know, we're not retaining anything. We don't even remember where we're going. Have you had that happen? Where you're in the car and you're driving and all of a sudden you just pause and go, where am I? And where was I going? We get into habits in our brain and our brain begins to go into autopilot. That is a pure indication that it's time to take a brain break. It's also a time to take a brain break when we have all of the technical, wonderful technical technical assets in our life, the phones, the texting, the emails, but when you look at the data, it's startling. Did you know that the average person looks at their email 140 times in an hour? Yeah, pretty startling. Wait till you find out what it is per minute for text messaging. Yeah, I'll let you go to my website to find that one out. So by nature, as human beings, we are driven and going so fast and so hard, and our brains are in overload. Your greatest and highest level of productivity and creativity, they don't come from overload. They come from complete and total downtime. And you know what I'm talking about. You've had it, right? As hard as it is, and I shared a podcast a couple weeks ago about unplugging, to truly unplug from the world, but it doesn't mean you just do this for a weekend. Every day, Every 20 minutes, did you know that our brains, every 20 minutes that we should be taking a brain break, even if it's standing up from what you're doing, walking around, going, walking outside, getting some fresh air, pausing, even for one to three minutes, the magic that that can do for our brain, your creativity, your productivity, everything about who you are and getting the very best out of you, it needs time to come to the surface. We're shoving it so far down because with all good intention, we think we're doing the right thing. We believe in our hearts that staying busy is part of what this world is about now. And being productive is all about looking good and feeling good and getting a lot done. But you and I both know, and I'm going to challenge you as you're listening to this, today, tomorrow, and for the rest of the week, I want you to pause. If you can't do it every 20 minutes, then do it every 60 minutes, every hour. You know, I go all over the world and speak, and I do sometimes very long full days of workshops or strategy sessions. And one of the most important things that I found for the people in the room is that we only learn for every 60 minutes of information you're receiving, you will average only retain maximum seven minutes. So what are you doing to up the game? What are you doing to up your retention? to up your creativity and your productivity. To up it means you need to take the download and it means you need a brain break. And I have to share this quick story because last week I had the privilege and the luxury of working with a wonderful group of leaders from all different places from around the United States and really getting them trained up um, in the power of strengths and how important it is to focus on our strengths. In the heart of that week, I had an epiphany because the people in the room, somebody asked me, Holly, I'd love to talk to your boys and find out what you were like as a mother. And I busted out laughing and of course I'm thinking, well sure, get on the phone, call them. I'd love to hear what they have to say. And then it occurred to me and I had this aha. I was like, are you kidding? It's all about brain breaks. I said, well, there was a one time in the life when they would all be studying in middle school and high school and I would run around the house with bells and cookies 
and I would be screaming time for a brain break and I would be rattling bells or playing music and I would be bringing them cookies. Never did I ever realize it was just instinctively how important that was and how important it is for all of us. So what's your brain break today? I can tell you that in about one hour I'm going to be on a really great call and as soon as I'm off that call with an amazing key leader of an amazing opportunity, I'm going to step outside and I'm going to take a quick swim. I do brain breaks all the time. Whatever that is for you, even if it's taking a pause, listening to music and closing your eyes, if it's taking a walk, if it's completely shutting off, here's the challenge. Can you do nothing for 10 minutes? That's the challenge I'm going to give you today. Stop everything for 10 minutes and just see not only how difficult that is, but how powerful that is. So it's time for a brain break. Have a great week. Bye.